Well, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the show. I am your host, Dante. We are back with another video, and the My Hero Academia fandom has successfully pissed off a voice actor, okay? Specifically, they pissed off the Deku voice actor from the um, anime, the English voice actor, to be precise, right? Because at a convention, um, this particular person, now, no hate to this person, I watched the video and I think this person was trying to be a troll. They were trolling the voice actor. I guess they've seen this occur a few times on the internet or something. So I guess they wanted to ask a question at the convention. Still, I'll, I'll say it was still a weird effing question either way. The character I'm talking about, I'm referencing, is Eri from My Hero Academia. And as you can see, very small. And she is six. Well, she was six. Now she's seven years old. Now, let's jump right into it and go right to the video because it's kind of weird, <laughs> okay? And like I said, no hate to the person in the video, okay? But even, but even I'll admit, shippers can be extremely effing weird, like toxic. If you are in the, any fandom, especially My Hero, I think My Hero is one of the worst fandoms in the any manga community. Those guys are just obnoxious. They may not be the absolute worst, but they are up there in regards to, like, how horrible fandoms can be. All right? Before I play a video, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a comment to engage in conversation. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and hit the bell for more content. Follow me on Twitter, Dante's Ransom. With all that being said, let's get to work. All right? So here's a video that has been circulating. It was hard to find. I had to get it off of TikTok. All right. So here we are. All right. Here's a video that started everything off. Let's go. Hi. So I asked the same question at the last panel. So someone might remember. Uh -oh. But you know your fandom, right? A little too well. Yeah. You, you know the bad side, right? Of course. Yeah. What's your opinion on your ships? How do we get here again? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna keep You can hear he's like, how do we get here again? He is sick and tired of you people asking these questions. Now we get it. They are voice actors and they may have certain opinions on certain things. Yeah, sure. But be that as it may, once you ask a question a dozen, a thousand, a hundred million times, eventually they're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna need y'all to stop because y'all are doing too much, okay? Whatever you guys wanna talk about on the internet, about you guys personalized ships and crap like that that is on you but enough is enough okay especially when it comes to this character check this out keep uh we're gonna keep answering questions after this uh, well, uh, uh, uh it's none of my business really um and who sure? cares what what 30 don't, something don't you year old love your ship with airy oh bro oh my goodness uh all right well uh yeah, the internet's uh, wild. You could see how uncomfortable that question made him. He was just like, huh? What? Okay, like, first of all, she's like seven. And it's not like people like talk about lollies and like, oh, she's petite and she's a thousand year old dragon and blase, blase, blase. This character is actually in the anime or manga, whatever. She is actually seven years old. <laughs> okay. Now, if there are people within the community who are shipping Deku and her together, y'all are fucking weird. Ah! Get off the internet. Go outside immediately, post haste. Okay. Expeditiously and touch some fucking grass because <laughs> what in the hell is this? Yeah, kid, listen, I'm all for ships. If I do think sometimes it can get a little extreme, but whatever. But it's weird, especially with this situation. You feel me? I don't like it. You can see the extreme discomfort on the man's face, and he's trying to be polite. Now, you can see her face, right. It looks as though like she was trolling. Like she maybe has seen it at some point on the internet and she wanted to get his reaction. Or maybe it was her genuine question. I don't know, but still, hey guys, you've no hate towards her, okay? 
Okay, it was a weird question, but no hate towards her or the voice actor, okay? But still, it was weird. And it looks like she was just trying to troll. And if she wasn't, and if it was a genuine question, ooh. <laughs> but, oh my God. How did we get here again? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep answering questions after this. Uh, it, it, uh, uh, it's none of my business, really. Um, and who cares? See, I would have stopped out there, none of my business, but that's just me. Now, after this whole situation unfolded at the convention, uh, he took to Twitter to respond and talk about this situation in detail. Right? This is my Twitter account, Dante's Rant Room. And it says, uh, let me see, is it begin? Kindly stop, it's Justin Briner. Kindly stop asking me about ships at my panel. It's none of my business, and it's officially gone too far. This was from a few days ago, three days ago on Twitter. You can see he's uncomfortable about this stuff, okay? It's, it's definitely bothering him, all right? Uh, says, whatever you think of the outcome, quit attacking the attendee. I will purposely vague to protect their identity. But I should have known you sleuths would smell the blood in the water to be cruel. I can get in big trouble for these interactions and had to put my foot down. That is all. I don't think you should go up. Don't bully this person. Like Whether they're trolling or not, don't go bully them, okay? But we can also admit that that was freaking weird. <laughs> freaking weird. All right, here's some more comments. Let's keep this a going. This uh, guy, I guess, responded saying, Sorry about being vague about the ship subject in the panels, puts the entire fandom on the point of the spear. People were all around, people were all around already blaming the MHA, my hero academia fandom, for making VAs uncomfortable when it wasn't even us who caused it. We just want the right person to get the blame. Then he says, I understand, but there was no indication. It's ever had to do with MHA in the first place. You can say that, but the video speaks for itself. I am lucky to be part of a lot of great properties. It is something around stigma already. I'm sorry, if there's, a, if there's a surrounding stigma, my bad, um, already, I don't think that is my fault. Now, it's true. The My Hero Academia fandom already has this weird stigma right about being one of the weirdest um, fandoms to exist, <laughs> okay? They be going to ham. I've covered the My Hero Academia fandom in previous videos from last year. I haven't done any, anything as recent as of 2024, but I know 2023 and every 2022, I covered the My Hero Academia fandom a, 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 little, a little bit. And people agree that, like I said, they may not be the absolute worst, but they have to be in at least the top 10 worst. <laughs> in the top 10. Like, y'all be going ham. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it. Maybe you can call it crazy. You can call it passionate. But some of y'all be doing some weird stuff, and it gets annoying, even to the point where the voice actor had to come out, as you guys can see on your screen, Justin Bryan, the voice actor, Harry Kim, and a bunch of other people, had to come out and say, listen, y'all are wildin'. I need you to get some get right in your life. Feel me? Okay. I'm going to need y'all to get it together. Well, anyway, like I said, there's no hate towards the attendee and the question. Um, and this can also apply to a multitude of other fandoms. But I do highly believe in this situation, he's talking about my hero academia. You guys stop being weird. You guys can keep your ships to the online threads and forums. And I'm sure they don't mind a question every so often. But damn, it looks like you guys bombard them with these annoying ass questions. Anyway, these are my thoughts. What are yours? And like I said, I repeat myself, do not go harass this person. It was a simple, weird question. Motives behind it, uh, unknown. It seems like they may be trolling or not, I don't know. But if it's genuine, like I said, it's too freaking weird. Like I said, y'all don't trigger the voice actor. With all that being said, you guys know my thoughts. What are yours? Drop them down below in the comment section. If you don't subscribe, do me a favor and subscribe for more content in anime, manga, gaming, nerdy, geek, culture content. I really appreciate you guys' support. I'll see you guys in the comment section and in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time and later.